Hello, I'm Matt Damon. Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted, a show that has such a low budget they couldn't even afford a host. Uh, I'm sitting here with Leo, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, to talk about our film, The Departed. We're going to ask each other some of your questions as well as some of our own. And I'll start with the first question. Here we go. Matt to Leo. This is from Neil in Houston, Texas. You must get offered countless film roles. What compelled you to do The Departed? Uh, besides the fact that Martin Scorsese was directing it. Besides the fact that it. Martin Scorsese was directing it. No. Yeah, I mean, I must say that I got the script around the same time that Scorsese did. And obviously you read the script as well. I, I would hope. I, I didn't, actually. You didn't. I just showed up. But, you know, it was one of those page turners. It was one of those, usually you get a script and you have to sort of tinker with it. You got to develop the character more. There's huge plot holes and and this was kind of a flawless script, you know? And what's very rare where you get offered a role and you say, wow, this is ready to go. Completely ready to go. That's how I felt about this script. And then, um, yeah, you know, I talked to Scorsese and he was felt the same way. Then um, the rest is history. You got involved next. Then I think it was Jack and Mark and blah, 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 bing, bada, boom. Nice work. Thanks, man. <laughs> Your Thank turn. You. Now I have a question for you, Matt <laughs> Shoot. Uh, ten years ago, if someone would have told you that you'd be doing a film with Martin Scorsese and Jack Nicholson, would you believe them? And what was that experience like? Well, I'd just like to say to Penny from Philadelphia who asked that question, why did you leave Leo out of that? Someone <laughs> told me I was going to do a movie with Jack, Marty, and Leo. Uh, I would have said, uh, that kid DiCaprio won't be around in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was actually beyond... Uh, my wildest possible daydream that uh, I'd be doing a movie with uh, with Mar Marty uh, and and you guys and uh, that took place in Boston too. That's another thing. Like being from there, it's really in my wheelhouse to play a character who's who's from there. And uh, it's just you know and 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 the roles that we got were so great in this movie. It was like um, all the characters had these real layers of complexity about them and. In movies that are that have a big budget, you generally don't get the, the bigger the budget, the the more kind of one note and boring mm -hmm. your characters tend to be. So it's hard to keep things with a budget of this size, uh, you know, interesting. And and I thought the script did a great job of doing that, and Marty really encouraged that with us. And uh, yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, you know, our characters were two sides of the same coin too. Right. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. Now I have to ask you, okay. from Sandy in Albany, New York. How much of yourself mm, do you see in your character, Billy? <clears throat> not much. No, not much. Um, I've certainly never been in situations like that in life where I've ever had to fear for my life on a consistent basis, <laughs> number one. <laughs> number two, I've had no history in the police department nor in the gang world. Other than that. Or being from Boston. <laughs> But besides that, being able, being an actor on a movie set was very familiar <laughs> to me. I kind of had to go to, I wanted to go to Boston. We shot a lot of it in, in, in New York City, but we also did the locations in Boston. And for me, it was a matter of getting to know the history of that town, getting to know the, the past stories of, of, of some of the guys from South Boston and the streets and uh, the history of that, the gang world there and getting, getting to know the accent. But... Mm, you have to do those things, certainly, way before you arrive on set, and especially on a Martin Scorsese movie, and especially working with actors like yourself and everyone else around. You have to be on your toes. You know, you have to know what you're doing before you arrive there. Otherwise, you're gonna sort of get lost in the wash. You did that like twice. I was figuring that maybe something would happen if I did this. If you touched it, <laughs> <laughs> but nothing's happening. Okay, then I'm gonna ask Matt a question. I'm, Okay. You, can, you know, we can talk about our experience in the gay clubs. You know? I mean, anything you want, really. I mean, I'm open to, I'm here to talk about anything you want to. This was kind of like the pinnacle of something that you would get offered, right? I yeah, mean, definitely. The gangster genre, a Martin Scorsese film. I mean, I know that when I first got, uh, when, when Gangs in New York first happened for me, I felt like I won the lottery. Right, yeah, That's yeah, how I yeah. felt. Yeah, so well, I, I mean, it's every, it's every actor's dream. And also, you know, I mean, you get on the set and it's and you realize that it's every crew members dream like mm -hmm. that yeah. that everyone is at the top of their game who's working for him and and everyone's happy to be there and feels lucky to be there and uh is excited to be there because he's giving everyone space to do their best work and uh and that was uh that was great that was great to see somebody who's been making such great movies for so long 
be so energized and so uh, disciplined and focused and, and, and bring out the best in everybody around You us. know, it's weird, too, because people always ask me, well, you know, there's been so many unbelievable performances in Marty's past work, you know, the, he worked with De Niro, blah, blah, blah. How does he get these performances out of people? But it, it's strange because I can't specifically identify anything that he does particularly different than other directors. Right. I just feel like there's such a respect level for him when people come onto set, even like minor characters that everyone is just on their A game. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Absolutely. And yeah. they know that they've got to come come completely prepared with something to offer that man. You yeah, know they I mean? don't well, they nobody wants homework. to show up empty handed, right? Yeah. That's right. It's true. That's definitely right. All right, man. From Tim in Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, in the film, you and Matt play wow, right opposite said that. sides of the same That's coin. Even the same term that I used. Did this affect your relationship off screen? Well, you got a little bitchy, I have to say. <laughs> Uh, you were definitely rougher in bed. I was really impressed. I thought you really got the, that you know the neighborhood right. I was like, wow. <laughs> and uh, but I but then you got a little catty, in you know, you know just over coffee, just little things. It was just little things, you know, and that's the thing. And you really I mean, take your work it home with you. Affected me yeah. personally, with, yeah. certainly in our relationship. Yeah. Um, so, what, how did it affect us? You know, to tell you the truth, we never hung out that much because we, we were working, working. so much. Yeah. And people ask about, you know, do you guys hang out, do this, go out, go out, go to dinner? We maybe did it a couple times, but you have six o'clock call times yeah. the next day. Every day. You know, you... Uh, well, and also, if one of us was working, you know, a lot of scenes, we were, we're looking for each other for most of the movies, so a lot of times you're working, and that means I'm not, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm off with my family or whatever, and then the nights you have off, I have to work the next day. It was so. almost like doing two separate films. It really was. Yeah. Okay, leave it to Matt. From John in Omaha, if uh, Project Greenlight had followed the making of The Departed, what would have been the most memorable episode? Uh... Well, The Departed probably cost about a hundred million dollars, and the Greenlight movies cost a million dollars. So the most memorable episode would be the one where Harvey and Bob were having a heart attack because we were ninety-nine million dollars over budget. Uh, <laughs> but actually, you know, with the Greenlight thing, it it was always, you know, if we always felt like if you put a camera and really showed what happened in the making of any of the movie sets that we were on, that you, that there were there was really kind of compelling. You know, uh, it would make compelling viewing, and uh, and this, uh, you know, this had a lot of uh, really great moments. I mean, Jack showing up and being so unpredictable and being—I uh, mean, he's great in the movie, but he's—he's he's just so inventive and so out there that that you know, I mean, you could see like, you know, that the, you know everyone's blood pressure would rise. You know, I mean, on the production end because they'd be going like, oh my God, is he gonna? What's he gonna do? Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, I know you did a scene with him where he, you know, he requested a fire extinguisher and matches mm -hmm. and like a gun, and you, you're like, what? I don't know what the guy's gonna do. He's gonna light me on fire. Like, what's the point? You know? He gets obsessed. Yeah, and he gets obsessed. Uh, Matt to Leo again. Oh, Matt to Leo. All right, from Nora in Atlanta, Georgia. In The Departed, you lead a double life. What are some of the pseudonyms you have used when checking into a hotel? Well, that's great. But I guess I can just kibosh all the way. <laughs> everyone that I've ever used in the past. Um, pseudonyms. Uh, well, I'm not going to tell my because I still use them, right? Right. right. No, absolutely. Classified. Unless you're ready. To, is, is there a pseudonym you're ready to retire that you uh, that you've outgrown, or you just no. you want to keep? Uh... Mm -mm. Okay, that's it. So Nora from Georgia. I'm sorry. Classified. Uh, that that will remain unscripted. Uh, so thank you to Matt Damon and everyone at Movie Phone and everyone sending in their questions and their requests. And uh, please go check out our film, Departed. I think it'll be worth your while. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And you, look, go ahead and look in the middle and then just turn out. There you go. So it looks natural. So we don't have you guys both staring at this. I don't know what that means. So we're turning out. <laughs> look at the, look it's like the, the Eyewitness screen. News action team. You got to do like <laughs> that move. Oh, like we're that doing that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, ready, so, on. yeah, cool. Bye, please. <laughs> And Leo DiCaprio with Fly, weather. Please, one second, and step out rolling, and whenever you're ready. Oh, boy, right. are we really going to do this right now? <laughs> <laughs>